you. Scary moments for some people in Albuquerque after Kirtland Air Force Base was put on lockdown. Parents were unable to get to their kids at nearby schools and long lines of traffic stretched as the base gates were locked. Action 7 News reporter Matt Howerton is at the Truman Gate on the northwest side of the base. He joins us live with the latest there. Matt. Doug and Shelley, there were some very frightened people here outside of the Truman Gate earlier this afternoon, but that fear quickly turned to relief when base security found that there was no active shooter on base. Scary moments surrounded Kirtland Air Force Base Wednesday afternoon. Men in tactical gear and Humvees could be seen after phone calls were made to base security saying there might be an active shooter on base. Yeah, I hope everything's okay. I work in the building next down the road from where it, would, where it happened. Base officials say those reports came in around 2.30 p.m. Someone said they thought they heard shots being fired near a building on the west side of the base. A precautionary lockdown was initiated. Cars lined the entrances and exits to the base. No one allowed in and no one out. This airman said he was concerned but told us the base is well prepared for this kind of emergency. There's always a concern there, but I mean... It's something that's well trained for and everyone knows how to react for it. So Around 3.15, the base lifted the lockdown, saying security found no threats whatsoever. Traffic started moving. Meanwhile, employees and loved ones shared sighs of relief. Are you glad to hear that everybody is, everything's fine, your husband's okay? I definitely am. Definitely glad to hear it. When I can go to work, yes, and do my job. Right now, base security is investigating further to determine how that report of an active shooter came into their office. The results of that investigation probably won't be available for the next several days. Anchor